Welcome to Ivy's YouTube channel. My name is Ishani. I'm, I'm back again to show you the different kind of charts that we can create in Power BI and the usage. So today we are going to talk about something called a combo chart. A combo chart, it literally means combination of two different chart types. So the ones that are available in Power BI are uh, the clustered column with a line or a stacked column with a line. So I'm, I have taken an example of a clustered column and a line chart. First and foremost thing that we always need to think about is why do I need this chart or when should I use this chart? So when do we use a combo chart? We need a combo chart when we are trying to plot two different series, which has a big difference in the magnitude in the sense that I'm trying to plot over here sales and I'm trying to plot over here quantity. But if you look at my sales is going all the most all the way to 1.4 million, but my sales, my quantity value is very less, about 9,000. So when we plot the both the series of sales and quantity on one single axis, you will not be able to look at the quantity series at all because it's going to be very tiny as compared to the sales. So in such cases, it's always preferred we create a combo chart. So let's start and create one and then while demonstrating this thing i'll also exhibit to you that why i cannot fit it into one single chart so i am going to start with a clustered column chart now when we have a clustered column chart what we have to work with is the y-axis and the x-axis y-axis is going to be the values that you need to plot and x-axis is the uh, you know the horizontal axis on which you are going to uh, tell against what the values are being plotted so let's start I am going to go to the orders table. In the y-axis, I'm going to put my sales. And I want to look at the sales based on category. That's why I'm going to put it in the x-axis. Very nicely, we've got the sales value of technology, we got of furniture and office supplies. Now, let's say we want to do on the same graph also show that, okay, if the sales is this much, this much quantity has been sold. Trying to, you know, have a kind of clear idea in one chart about the sales and the quantity. Now I'm going to drop my quantity also in Y axis. And when I drop that, like you can see very clearly, it happens to be a very tiny area in the chart. It's almost invisible. So it's not that it is very small. It's not like a one or two. The quantity is 9,000. However, again, something which is in 1.4 million, it's almost non-existent. And this is the reason we cannot use this particular type of chart. So in such situations where I'm trying to plot two things, which have big difference in the value, we are going to use combo chart. So where is combo chart? Right below my clustered column, you will see a line and a stack column. And right beside that, there's a line and a cluster column. So I'm going to click on line and cluster. Now in line and cluster, you will see there's an X axis. We will let the category be there. There is a y-axis in which sales and quantity is still there and there is a line y-axis. So there's a column y-axis and a line y-axis. So column y-axis means what do you want you which series or which field you want to represent as a column. So let's keep the sales as it is and the quantity we are going to shift in the line y-axis. And as soon as I do that, now I can beautifully look at the line which talks about the quantity and the columns are representing the same. So this is how you create a combo chart. So once again, why do we need a combo chart? We will need a combo chart when we are trying to plot two series, which has difference in magnet. Because if plotted on the same axis, same common Y axis, it's almost non-existent. So in order to give a good visual understanding to the end user, we use a combo chart, which means combination of two charts. And today we used a column chart and a line chart to present that. I hope you find this video interesting and I'll be back again and we'll be talking about scatter plots in the next video. Thank you.